Hi everyone, it's Neve here and welcome to my art journaling channel. Today I've got some exciting new products to share with you from the Dina Wakely February 2021 release. So I am starting out in um, making this little tab bound book um, using my gel plate. Uh, the new stencil, or one of the new stencils, sorry, is the one below which has got the circles on it. However, it is very exciting because Dina has obviously listened to us all. The top stencil that has got lots of collage patterns on it, she's got another one which is very similar. So you could use both the new stencils to do exactly the same. So I've just used some gesso to um, spread out my gel plate. And what I was doing was picking up some of the stenciled image through my um, onto my little sheets of paper. These are cardboard that are cut into um, four by four inch squares. Okay. Once I'd put gesso on one side, I put gesso on the other. Um, now the reason for this is, and you'll sort of see this when I start painting on it, it um, creates this kind of resist on your page. So you'll see those little stenciled bits starting to come up when I start to um, dry off the acrylic paint. So what I'm doing is just making my acrylic paint really, really watery. So I started off with Ocean. And then I'm going in with um, some fuchsia and again sort of painting it on and sponging off and drying off in between just to get some backgrounds on. You can see I had some colour from my gel plate that came through. I'm really not concerned about it. It's just getting a background on the page without thinking too much. So the final colour I'm adding is some cheddar. Again watering it down using a really wide brush not really thinking about it. Now for those of you who um, may be new to this channel, um, I am doing everything left-handed. I am not left-handed. I am actually right-handed but I've smashed my wrist and I'm in cast. I have been for six weeks and I'm probably going to be in cast for another two or three weeks unfortunately. So I'm learning to do everything left-handed which is why some things are looking a little bit awkward as I am working. Um, to do the book pages, obviously we need to cover both sides because we're going to see both sides. So I was kind of particular about the first side in the fact that I used a brush and then I was finding it too difficult. So I just said, well, let's just dab it in like you do with, you know, your oxide paints or what have you. So I'm just making sort of a puddle of um, paint on my um, glass mat and then just dipping my cardboard in and swiping up any of the mate. And I really liked how much more organic it looked on this page. And you'll see from this that um, gessoed um, resist coming through on each of those pages. Now obviously you make a bit of a mess of your mat or what you're working on, but a bit of um, alcohol spray over the top and a cloth wipes it up beautifully. So now I'm working on my front cover. And to do this I decided to use um, some of the um, collage collective from Dina Wakely too. So I used one of my favourite pieces. I couldn't decide which side I wanted to use. I ended up using the black side which I'm really glad I did in the end um, is how it ended up. All I'm doing is um, just gluing it on and folding it up. So again apologies. <laughs> this takes a lot longer than it should do when you're trying to do it with one hand. Um, but you know if you can do it with one hand, you can definitely do it with two hands. I'm struggling a little bit with scissors at the moment because they just don't want to do what I want to do. My poor husband is having to open things for me left, right and centre as I'm working because um, I don't have the, I can't twist my wrist because um, I've got plates and pins and um, an above elbow cast. So it's um, a little bit interesting times at the moment. To make it a little bit easier for myself I am using this extra sticky double sided tape. So that's a red liner tape. Um, I think Ranger still sells it, I'm not 100% sure. Um, it's amazing stuff, it's a real pain to get the backing off but once you glue something down with it, it stays stuck. So um, if you are looking for sort of heavy duty double sided tape, that this is the stuff to get. Once I've finished my two covers I just set them aside ready to play with another new product that's just been released which I'm really really excited about. So this is a three inch canvas tape, um, sticky back canvas tape and as soon as I saw I knew one of the projects I need to make for this release was going to be a book and all I'm doing is using the same colours I used in on my pages and just splashing paint onto it so you know 
no rhyme or reason to how I'm doing it. A little bit of water on your brush helps to spread it out, but it's just like painting on the canvas in the Dina Wakeley journals. It, it works exactly the same. You can see how beautiful it is. The thing I really liked about it was I was able to use my heat gun on it. It didn't affect the stickiness of this at all. It is really, really sticky. So it's, it's you know, not your washi tape. It is a really great book binding tape. So it's certainly, certainly heavy duty. So because I had extra paint left out, I am doing some mic making on my um, canvas tape as well. Now, when you're mic making, it's really important that you overlap your layers. So you can see I've spread sort of my yellow dots out and about. I've put those mineral dots um, over and above some of the other colors as well. I'm not keeping, you know, the yellow in the blue section and the whitish color in the white section. That's just, you know, you need to blend it together to make it look like it belongs. Because I had a little bit of paint left over on my palette, I hate wasting it. So I'm just going into my pages and randomly just putting in um, some of the extra paint, stenciling onto it using the new circle stencil. Um, I'm not cleaning my um, sponge in between. I'm just mixing it all together. So it sort of all blends. So now I've got my pages for my uh, book. I'm going to add a little bit of detail to them. So I'm going in with some of the new stamp sets and they've got these fabulous um, st uh, circle stamps that are from pores. They look like sort of little universes and the little square doodly bits. I've got them three on the page and I'm sort of just stamping randomly over my three page my pages. I don't mind where the images go as long as I've got some of each image on each of the pages. On these um, little book pages I only chose to stamp on one side not both sides and I really liked making that decision in the end because it sort of worked out well for me um, when I put it all together. So now I'm just cutting up my tape Again, if you've got a hand that actually works properly, this will help and you can probably measure it a little bit better. I'm aiming for about a centimetre each strip. You probably could go a little bit wider. I was um, struggling a little bit to cut it, so um, <clears throat> I probably should have measured it out a little bit more. So this is how to make the tab bound book. So on my first page I put two pieces of tape down, on my second page I put one piece of tape down and folded the other pieces over. So it's the same technique. So you can see me folding over the edges, that's what's binding it together. So if I've folded two, pa two pieces over I need to put two pieces of tape down. If I folded one piece of tape over I put one piece of tape down. As you go through your book you're going to bind it all together. Um, when I got to the final page, I should have actually had an extra page in my book, but it all worked out in the end. So I've got my little flippy book with everything working together. Finally, as I go through, I'm just going to stick up my front cover. I had enough tape um, left over from where I had put my book together to, <coughs> excuse me, stick on my front covers. So these are the close-up of the pages and the tabs within my book. Now. Um, Dina does a fabulous tutorial on doing a um, tab bound book which I will link in the description box below. You'll also find links to all the new products that you can buy through Ranger um, in the description box below. Please stay tuned because um, tomorrow there will be the second part of this uh, tutorial which shows how I've decorated the inside of the book. So this is just putting the book together. Um, you've got all the decorations to go next. So I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial. Please again check out the description box below for Dina's um, take on how to do the tab journal book. And until next time, bye for now.